doing a river raid competition for the first time. I'm doing one lap. That's all I'm going to be doing. And Matthew's doing three laps. <laughs> what? I did the practice course, three laps, and it was pressure. So we're just gonna go out and take part and just do the course for completion and just for pure enjoyment. Yeah. Because we're new riders, we don't expect to place anywhere for a second or third, but we're going because it's a great experience. Everybody's been telling me to go, that's why I'm going. So let's see how it goes and we out for a full day of riding. Yes. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy this short video. Place looking nice, guys. Balloon By the way, guys, you had to wake up for I will up half four. Towards the, the whole bunch of coons up there and do a U turn, a bunch going into the trails. And I guess I'll try it on some cables. One lap. <laughs> I, I did the um, I did the three laps. On the first lap, I was dying. Hi, right, guys, over here. A very, very warm oh welcome to one and all. <laughs> this being the 17th of the Rainbow Warriors River Raid, right here, the beautiful Salmon Park in Shagaramas. Certainly, it's a pleasure being on the inside here with you. I am Miriri Luby Gonzalez, going to be keeping you informed, entertained, and up to date with all the information pertaining to this grand event. Get yourself in a state of readiness. As we are very, very eternally grateful for the opportunity <laughs> <laughs> once again hey, you got purple for well. this yeah, nice special man. event for your oh, good luck, huh? Yeah, you too. Where are we going? Uh, we starting right here. Newbies start, isn't it? Yeah, everybody. Well, that's yeah. it. Newbies start. I guess Best wishes to each and everyone. Shaka Ramon, Pigala Class Authority. Yeah. Yeah. The Universal yeah. Ambulance. The Online Big Shot. <laughs> Classic Awards. And Friends. Of the Trinidad. <laughs> she's part of the girl gang. Oh, nice. Special thanks also goes out to our... This is a girl gang here, guys. WTC. Race Right in front of the toilet. All of our hard working volunteers. Provisioning the media for the race. Race video. Which will come out in a few weeks. So it's going to be exciting today. Which will be followed by the open classic MTV. Oh my god, you are like Kevin. I'm on TV. You MTV short course and you be. You didn't bring no energy. For this video, guys, we will be doing some voiceover just to give you guys a little background into how this race actually went. We just wanted to give you a little bit of insight into how we felt actually doing our first race. And we've only started mountain biking seven months now. So we are all new to this. And everybody told us, go on, attempt the race. So Lovey did the one lap and I did the three lap and it was amazing we had mixed emotions but at the same time it was exciting we really tried hard at not editing a really long video but this was the best we could have done with what we wanted to bring forward so we really wanted to show the races entirety and not cut too much although we did do some cuts because I mean we can't have you all sitting on there watching a race for two hours straight my three laps alone was about 50 something minutes long and uh, I'm newbies! Alright, <laughs> right, 25 seconds! Alright, 15 seconds. I can't find my start on. I think it's in the car that's gonna be road, so I'm just gonna say ready, set, go. Alright? 10 seconds. Be all ready? Spectators ready? Yes! 5 seconds. 3, 2, 1, go! Let's go! This is it! And then going straight in the suddenly that yeah. direction into the park. When the cut team is going. Let's give them all the encouragement, love and support as they pass you by. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. 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 Every single one is a winner in their own. Right. Are they ready? Newbies, I mean, y'all can come up to the start line. We're going to start you in 30 seconds. All right. So 20 more seconds. 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go! Here goes the newbies. Thank you very much, Jason. We told they were in the first section there, but they want to be special and stand out. The newbies! So guys, just want to apologize for the bad angle with the GoPro. I had on the chest strap and it just was not working for me. So I was in the newbies category and Megan was with me. One of the other girls from our girls gang riding group. The rest were people I never saw before. And it was about six or seven of us in the race.
was a bit anxious was the word i'm looking for in the start but as soon as the rain started and we shoot off i was like oh okay it's that type of race <laughs> Doing this race was fun. Um, I came out the day before and did a practice run on the trail for two laps. And seeing that it's just one lap is it was pretty easy. Um, my only difficulty was the kids. They were like in our way a lot, and we had to be dodging and maneuvering. And some of them held us back on the hill, which was a bit painful. Pass on your right. But I enjoyed the race. In all I, ha I was happy that the race was one lap it could have been two laps for the newbies just so we could have had another lap without the kids in front of us thank you pass off you're coming up on an open spot so that's your pump pass off But the one lap was good. Um, I, I'm accustomed doing these trails on a regular during the week and on weekends. So the ride then felt like a race really. We, we were cruising on these trails. We were not going fast at all. More like a normal run in the trails for me. How this race felt compared to Matthew's race.
passing, passing. So at this point I did manage to get ahead at one point for the last trail because I wanted to go just a little bit faster than the pace we were going at and this trail is mostly downhill anyways. So I just wanted to get ahead and like pump really really fast to see how quick I can make it out of this trail. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately when we reached back on the trail and back on the flat I was passed again and back into second place <laughs> but for my first time competing in my very first biking competition river raid race I'm very impressed came in second but this race was amazing and I really enjoyed it I had so much fun doing the trails I normally do every weekend every Sunday so doing it for the race felt like a regular day <laughs> the road very clear these are the big guys Open is open. Yeah, yeah man. Time left. It was actually really encouraging to know that some people that I ride with on a regular was actually in this race competing with me. Guys, just standing here with my bike at the start line was such an adrenaline rush. <laughs> my heart started to beat already because it's like my first race and I didn't know what to expect. But it was crazy and watching all these riders in front of me and not knowing what position are going to come out in the end. But I mean, I just send it. Alright, so 20 seconds to go. You all ready? One. Let's go! go, 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 go. Wow, the sport has a rake number, Jason. I find this to be one of the one of the more exciting parts of the race. Eh? Just everybody just taking off at the same time and you just kind of fitting yourself in between and finding what position, a comfortable position for you to be in for the race to enter the trails. Because after here, this loop, we go straight into the bush. Oh, this fantastic scenic sight here at the Summon Park in Shaharan. The 17th annual River Race Mountain Trail Park. Whoa. <laughs> oh yeah, give me my legs already.
This pump track was actually, I think, the worst part of the whole race because it was at the beginning and it totally tires you out. I don't know if I was riding it wrong or what, you but pass, it, it totally tired me out for every single lap and it's three laps I did. But I suck it up and I just kept pushing. <laughs> You go ahead. I feel the bar already. I actually thought with the amount of riders, it was 50 riders in my category, that inside these trails would have been jam-packed and you would have been bouncing into people right through. But apparently, everybody was more or less spaced out and it was, you had enough space to get through the trails. And these were about seven trails that you go through here in one lap. I was so happy to be out of that pump track. On this first lap here, my thoughts were just basically trying to keep up and not push too hard because it's the first lap and we had two other laps to do and as I mentioned before, each lap is about seven trails so it's a lot. So I was just trying to maintain my position, keeping up with who was ever in front of me and if I felt the need to overtake, I would do so. Watching the guys overtaking actually right. gave me a boost and it actually encouraged me to overtake as well. Because I knew I started about 17 riders behind. So I had to try to overtake as much as I could wherever I could. <sighs> Whoever wanted to overtake, I was just letting them do it as well because if I can't push hard, it makes no sense keeping back somebody in a race. Yeah, boss, huh? <laughs> For example, there goes Vivek <laughs> overtaking me because my pace was just a touch slower than his own. Vivek rides with the MTB tribe, which is the same group of guys that I ride with. So at this oh. point, I was thinking, okay, Vivek is now in front of me, so I can't lose him. I have to keep up with him. Oh. You can see how close I caught up to Vivek there because the guy guys in front were starting to get tired as well. You need to look at the points where people get tired and then overtake and that really helped me throughout the entire race. It's features such as this river crossing that makes trails so much more enjoyable for me. Ah.
just watching Vivek speed off, oh. overtake that guy, and then I couldn't see him again. I was like, oh no, I need to try and find Vivek and keep up with him. Yeah, yeah, good. And then on top of that, this guy overtakes me and then I was just like, uh, oh well, I gotta find some other place, some other part of this trail to try and get back ahead and catch up to Vivek. You know, at the end of the day, we're in this together and we wanted to finish this race. <laughs> I actually like this trail but I hated it for the race because it was very routine. It, it takes a, li a little bit of effort to get through this trail. It's fun but as I said, you need a little effort. So my plan was to overtake this guy when we reached the road section but it just so happens that I don't know what happened at the end of this trail but he stumbled on something and I was just able to pass him. Easy. This road was actually where part of the training that Gordon gave us actually came into handy. Training was similar to this road. You had to pump straight for like four minutes and then come back and repeat again. So I really think that helped for this section of the race. Oh boy. This guy totally messed me up. I was so pissed because I normally take the left line going up this little hill at the beginning of Snake. So this guy is in front of me and he goes in the most grannyest gear, like the smallest. I don't even know if that gear exists and totally slows me down. Not knowing he drops off of the left line and then changes line and go right as well. I had no other option but to stop. <laughs> That actually pissed me off a good bit, but I mean, I don't know if he did it intentional or not, but that, that actually messed me up. So 
no, I knew I lost a couple seconds there on going up that hill. So I knew I had to try and catch up and that's what I did. I gave it my all and eventually catch back up. Good day. Ah. Yeah. So this was actually one of the lines that Gordon showed me. Check out this line. The guy goes down the ditch and then come back up. But I go straight across over the ridge trying to keep a straight line. And try to get straighter lines. Look how he had to turn a hard right there coming out of that ditch when I just went straight. Try to get straighter lines and smoother surfaces. That way you get to go faster and you could save half a second, a second over somebody in a race. Little things like this make a difference in the race and I think it really helped as well. I think going through these trails was the most fun part of the whole race because these trails some of them have like slight I don't know if it's a slight downhill or what but these trails are faster in this direction and I really enjoyed going through these trails as fast as I can tr while trying to keep up at the same time So to our surprise, guy wipes out on this corner in front of us. Oh shit! And yeah. You alright? We found out later on that he actually broke his leg. That was so crazy. This is one of the sandy corners that you have to slow down for. If you hit it too hard, you will fall. And I guess that's what happened. I'm fell. So from here on, straight out to the end of the first lap was just pace, 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 pace. This was so, so enjoyable to do because I've never rode these trails as fast as I did for this race. By the way, guys, I still have my rib injury while I was going doing this race. Yeah. I still have some pain in my rib, so I really couldn't fall. <laughs> if I fell, that probably would have been bad. Thank God for not falling. <laughs> I don't know where I got this boost of energy from but as soon as we exited the trail I was just like hey we're going back in the trail but there's a little piece of road let me see if I can overtake them real quick and uh, while doing that I almost skid out and fall on this corner that was actually the, one of the scariest parts of the whole race because I would have hit the ground so hard if I fell but luckily I didn't and then I saw this other guy struggling along and I was like yo um I'm going a little faster than you let me just pass you one time too and that was actually one of the best feelings in the whole race as well Ah!
just flying out of those trails into the field trail across the finish line that was that was another one of the most enjoyable parts of this race for me and i got to do it three times I want to thank Lovey and my friends for cheering me on as I entered this trail. It really helped. I heard y'all. <laughs> Thanks so much. So when I checked the stats after the race, I actually did each lap 17 minutes per lap. 17 minutes and some change actually. That was crazy. Riding hard for 3 laps. Each lap 17 minutes. That, this is actually one of the hardest mountain bike challenges I've ever done. So now we're on to the second lap and that was when I took my first sip of Powerade. I had water in my bag. I don't know why I put water in my bag when I'm not going to get any time to drink it. So I literally only drank Powerade for the entire race and I think it was only a couple sips. Now I did take an energy gel before the race so I think that really helped as well. First lap was tiring. It took me the second lap to actually see Vivek again. <laughs> Look how long he was ahead of me and I finally caught up to him. Up. Good. There goes the cyclist again. <laughs> oh. yeah. On your right. And there goes red bike. Yep, yep. We can motivate each other. Yeah. I'll overtake just now and then you try to catch up. Okay. And then same. Well, you should be able to. <laughs> yeah. I Me too. Try, huh? Yeah, me too. Just like me, he overdid it on that first lap and we were so exhausted. So much that I actually got the opportunity to pass him and I told him to let's use each other as motivation and then he keep, the idea was to keep up to me and then he could overtake me and then I would overtake him and we basically push each other through the end of the race but unfortunately that didn't happen. After I overtook him, I don't think he saw me for the rest of the race. Now we approach Snake Hill again and with nobody in front of me, easily makes it up the hill. It wasn't as easy as normal because I was so tired but such a breeze, nobody to stop me, I wasn't able to waste any time. At this point in time, I was so, so tired and I just kept saying, okay, keep up the red bike, keep up the cyclist guy. And that's what I was doing. I was trying really hard to keep up. <laughs> nah, I was just coming in hot. <laughs>
You're welcome. It was so sad to just okay. pass this guy who broke his leg, but thank God paramedics came and was attending to him. Man fell hard, yes? We were just on each other's tail right through and that actually was pretty excited for me because all three of us are going as hard as we could and just sticking with each other. This, this is probably one of the fastest times I've been through these trails for this race, definitely. So check this out right the same place i overtook these two guys red bike took that initiative to say oh here's a good place to overtake so he does that to the cyclist guy and then i was taking up that initiative again to speed up and then end up overtaking cyclist guy again trails are too small to ride side by side so he lets me pass so now my new mission was to catch up to red bike guy and see if i could pass him but he was going so fast I had an idea to overtake here, but those routes were so big, I lost a lot of speed. So I just stopped behind him. Oh. So I actually decided to try and overtake him on the field and so said so done, he was like go ahead, so I went. In the open count it's going to be 2, 3 and 10 with the leaders. I was not looking forward to heading back into pump track for the third lap but I mean I couldn't let myself down I couldn't let my supporters down and I just suck it up and I just my pace was a, a lot slower for this third lap but um, clearly it was fast hey. enough to still do a good job I suppose <laughs> Look at me trying to keep up the spirits, <laughs> sending peace sign to the cameraman in the trail. Ah. If you could take it, take it. Yeah. We have one more lap. Once we cross the finish, yeah? And there goes Red Bike again. Red Bike passes oh. me. It's oh like, what it, is it with me and this guy? <laughs> we just keep passing each other. There I go again, my second official sip of power aid, and that was it. The last lap here? Yeah, yeah. At this point in time, I did not know what lap we was on, and I was asking everyone on the trail, like, is this the lap? Is this the lap? <laughs> pass this guy here, and then I was like, okay, I want to pass red bike guy. So I just suck it up and press out and pass them as well. Oh, trying some 
Like you were the last one, eh? Hi, Bon. Then this kid comes out of nowhere. I don't even know if he was in my race or what. It was like, where did this guy come out from? Ah! Ah! What? So at this point I was just thinking, okay, let's find this kid and pass this kid because cause I don't know where he came out from. And going down this skiddy drain, apparently somebody else bust their ass inside of there and fall along. Guy was telling us to slow down, slow down. <sighs> Hope that guy was okay as well. I don't think he broke anything, but I mean, down in a ditch, not a good sign. I caught up the small man and... I obviously wanted to pass right. him, he stopped to fix his number and I took that opportunity. From this point on, I kept telling myself, okay, I think I passed a good bit of people, so I'm gonna hold my line and I'm not gonna let anybody pass me. I know these trails are where I get my fastest time, so I was just beasting it through, beasting it through, and I was not letting anybody pass me. I kept looking back, but nobody was behind. I just took off. By chance, is he under the third lap? Yeah. Okay. I was so tired, I was just concerned whether this really was the last lap or not. Right, and then when the lady was like, yes, yeah, she sounded annoyed. But I was just like, okay, good. I gotta give it my all. And yeah, I wasn't letting nobody pass at this point. <laughs> I was actually impressing myself because I kept looking back and nobody was behind. So yeah, just read by guy and he was a way distance behind. Then I bounced up this guy on the trail moving really slow and I was like, nope, I gotta pass buddy. I was like, I didn't even know there were anybody else in front of me. So I passed him and, and that was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody was able to catch up and pass me back. So at this point in time, my brain was getting confused again. I don't know if it was the lack of water or what, but I kept thinking red bike guy was in front of me. So I kept going fast to try to catch up with him. And at some point I realized, wait, I passed him already. But just doing that made me really speed up for the end of this last lap. And I think that really helped me a lot. So I imagined that somebody was in front of me and I needed to catch up. And that took me through the rest of this lap. Again, best feeling flying over that route, flying out onto the road, into the field. Damn well knowing that nobody's behind me and that I actually held my position for the rest of the race and just crossing this finish line felt so amazing. <sighs>
crossing the line on for Nikki Bain. Ah! Yeah, I think so. But is that all good? Yeah. Well, well, you tired. You came thing. Tired. Good. 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 <laughs> River Raid Scott That was sweet I know Definitely I saw him back uh, on, on lap 2 Yeah well, <laughs> And then I went No no yeah. no <laughs> I, I know that I saw you <laughs> And I mean the other guy's front He was being so fun See I said him yeah. I said outside <laughs> Well done man <laughs> 17 annual nice. River Raid Not Marshall Montana But it's Marshall Moran There we are Double M man and James Got my medal Woo Fantastic work along with Ah, check that out, doggy water. That's so nice. Alright, guys, so that was the end of the, the race. There was three laps here. About six or seven trails, and there you have it. I got, oops, I got my first medal, first race. It was exhilarated. Lovey enjoyed it. I think she came second or third. Alright, guys, so apparently it wasn't over. After the race, we went and Right point good. That man stress mode, look at them there. That's one of them. Come point good, it'll be fun. <sighs> apparently, this is for participation and apparently I keep second in my age category. Look at that. <laughs> I didn't even know that. <laughs> oh god, love you now and turn on. It's another trail there, so. Check out guys, I'll follow her. Second place. Second place? Yeah. In newbies category. Check out two medals. Mm. Let me see the medals now. Look at those medals. And as you guys know, second in my age category, 12th in overall race. I did a sport race for three laps. Other guys, other crazy guys, did the one for seven laps. <laughs> Five laps, which was the open. I'm so tired of talking shit. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe. Click the bell to be notified for more videos in the future. And as always, stay safe and stay adventurous. At this point in time, I'd just like to thank our friend Gordon for actually taking the time to help prepare us for this race. We did some drills with him up Point Good, we did some drills up Mount St. Catherine, and he also took the time to take me through the race course and show me a couple of the lines that he was planning to take in the race that will give you like one second ahead somebody, two seconds ahead. 